rapists should be executed. In a story that you may have missed, nine men in Germany gang raped a woman. And I say a woman, but she was a schoolgirl, a teenager. Nine men gang raped a teenager on her way home from school. And the police in Germany, in Hamburg, did their due diligence and took a rape kit, grisly business, and they isolated the DNA of eight of these men. So eight of these men were identified through DNA as being the rapists of the schoolgirl. But there was even more damning evidence. There was even more damning evidence. A small group of these men started off raping this schoolgirl and they recorded their sexual assault of this girl on WhatsApp video and they were broadcasting it. And by broadcasting it, they were inviting their friends, some of their friends to come and join. So I think five of them were German nationals. And in the end, there were four foreigners who joined in. I shouldn't say foreigners because the new lingo is undocumented travelers. It's not even illegal immigrants. It's undocumented travelers. It's, we can't say anything terrible about the uh, invasion of immigrants that is coming from lands afar to these shores, even in Germany. And they were, <clears throat> so these men started off as a small group and invited other people, recorded this gang rape on WhatsApp video. And this was evidence that was presented in court as well. But lo and behold, only one of those nine rapists was convicted and sent to jail. Only one, the rest, Scott Free, they're out on the streets of Hamburg. They're out on the streets of Hamburg. Only one is in jail and he's only been sent to jail for two and a half years. You know my opinion on this. I think all rapists should be executed because rape is as heinous a crime as premeditated murder. Rape is as heinous a crime as premeditated murder. And this is not my opinion. This is biblical law. This is biblical law. This used to be the law in this land, actually. This used to be the law in the West as it was shaped by biblical uh, law. But now rape is hardly a crime. Rape is hardly a crime. And here's my point. Here's evidence for my point. A woman who found out the phone number of one of these rapists because it was a WhatsApp and I don't know what the lingo is. Is it doxing? What, the phone number of one of the rapists was doxed and put out in the public. And German citizens who were rightly angered by this started texting to this WhatsApp. And a woman, a 20 year old woman uh, has been convicted by judges in a German court who said that uh, this was a hate crime. And this woman should be punished for calling one of the rapists a dishonorable rapist pig and a disgusting freak. A dishonorable rapist pig and a disgusting freak. These are strong words, but I would have had said stronger words. I would have said stronger words. I would have sent stronger words. But because she said he was a dishonorable rapist pig and a freak, she was sent to jail. She actually was sent to jail. The German judges think that if you send words calling someone a dishonorable rapist pig, you deserve jail. But if you rape a girl, you're okay. If you rape a girl, you're okay. But if you have the cheek to call someone a freak, oh, well, we can't be having that. This is Germany. This is civilized society. We can't be having that. And it's fascinating when you look at the pictures of the people in court. They seem to have a certain color and a look about them that is not German. One might say they look like they are of a certain region and of a certain color and probably of a certain religion. But we cannot criticize uh, people that are invading the West because we would be dishonorable racist pigs who would be dishonorable racist pigs and we can't be having that so it's better that people invade germany they may come on the boats they may come through the poorest borders but 
we cannot call them for the crime that they're committing. We cannot send them to jail for the crimes that they're committing. As bad as it is in Germany and we think we're safe over here, it ain't like that. It's not like that at all. It's happening in this country as well. It's happening in this country as well. It's happening in America. It's happening in America. People are literally being killed by undocumented travelers, undocumented immigrants, and the justice system over there, the justice system over here is happy to overlook these crimes. The sex rings in Bradford, the sex rings in Oxford, the risible sentences that are meted out to the rapists that are destroying the lives of young girls. And when someone has the courage, the temerity to stand up against this nonsense because the justice system is corrupt, the justice system is corrupt. Uh, I don't know how many of these uh, people were ever sent to jail uh, under our to be prime minister when he was prosecutor. I wonder what his record on this is. It would be interesting to look at, wouldn't it? See how much he loves this country. But when someone like Tommy Robinson decides to stand up for the girls that are being assaulted in Telford, what do we get? Media blackout. What do we get? Nationalist uh, pejoratives thrown at him. When somebody stands up for the citizens of this country, when somebody stands up for the safety of the women in this country, uh, we mock them. We mock them. We have been so taught to hate ourselves that we are happy to see our women being assaulted. We are happy to see our children being sexually assaulted. This is what happens when you abandon God's law. But more than that, this is what happens when a civilization starts to crumble from with uh, from with when a, when a civilization starts starts to crumble. Civilizations rarely crumble from forces outside. They crumble from within. They, we are crumbling from within. We are hating ourselves. There is no courage left in us. There is no pride left in us. And we are happy to see our women being raped. We are happy to see our children being raped. This is a sad state of affairs. This is a sad state of affairs. It's in Germany. But sadly, it's not just Germany. It's in England. It's in America. It's time for people to stand up for their country. Stand up for your country.